this because of the checkpoints. And it's the first time since weeks maybe or since several months to because for this to happen. And for me this is uh, a little bit suspicious. I'm not uh, convinced that it's not uh, meant to, to do For something ASEAN? Yes. Really? Yes. yes. I have no doubts. Right. No. Right. Oh, it's going on. They're shooting. They're shooting, the people yeah. in the tent say they're shooting tear gas around the tent and uh, even the most sort of, you know, brave young man type is saying don't come, don't come, go back. But we have people in there, so... And we've brought artists and they're sitting in the tent, so we have to get them out. I have to, to try and get to them. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the ones who are leaving the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go and try and get them out. Tell them we'll get as close as we can. Mohammed, bring the foot. Follow, follow. Is there anywhere else we can do it? What audience can we even generate? It's, it's a clear. They are like just want to ruin the night. Okay, so how can we make it still happen? So we're the audience. Were they able to get out here. at least? Pardon? The audience, have they been able to get out? Yeah, someone just called me no, they said they said they run away. Some gas, so everyone's left the, pl the place. You know, this gas, is, it requires I mean, at least yeah. two, two or three hours to to get yeah. off the air. Yeah. Dad, listen, what can we do to help? We're trying, we're, 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 close, we're trying to get as close as we can with the bus to try and get people out. Just you. Close the door. No one can go out. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're holding. Uh, the gas. Here. Here. I have a whole. Uh, hold it. Hold it and smell it. Just hold it against here. And there were uh, soldiers on the hill, and then they left. And then you know some uh, some settlers, I guess you can say, they drove by and uh, they they kind of. Stones at them, and then the, the tear gas uh, canisters came back. نتيجة الأعياد والضغط اللي بتعرض له السكان في فترة الأعياد عيد البسح لو أكبر عيد الفصح أكبر أعياد الإسرائيليين تتذكر الشوارع المنطقة من نوع دخول أو خروج السكان منها لبطرق التفافية مع إنه مسموح الدخول والخروج لل للمستوطنين والسواح الأجانب. Oh, Allah, he is burning. Yeah, it's very burning. Uh, well, uh, as you can see, uh, we can barely open our eyes uh, because of the tear gas. Apparently, they knew that we are coming, uh, so uh, they tried to, uh, you know, uh, disturb the situation in order to prevent us from reaching the tent, the steadfastness tent in Silva, because it's a symbol of what's uh, going on around uh, Jerusalem as a whole. Especially in Silwan, you know, the area where the tent is erected is actually threatened by the Israeli authorities, uh, especially the municipality of Jerusalem. They want to, to demolish most of the houses that are available in this area. حول حول على المنتدى على اذا بدك تحول حول ايش؟ وين سياراتهم؟ ايه طب استني اذا بدك ما فيش عندنا مشكله انا حولهم على المنتدى او على المركز ما فيش عندنا مشكله بس
I think we either move now or we go in the car later. You know, if, if we're going to move, then we should move now because things are getting more and more. Inside, inside, inside. No, you're gonna get inside. Doctor. What's that? Dub, uh, let's get the bus and the speakers. Tear gas is burning tires. It seems like it's an, an ordinary day here in East Jerusalem. Anytime you gather together to say we may think differently from the uh, people who run the occupation, they come down heavy on you, particularly something that's cultural and international. It seems. But, nevertheless, for the moment we're back. I hope it continues. Who's watching us? The soldiers, they are up there, see? It's over there. In the white rock there, there's a couple of them. The people were here, were waiting for us, were expecting us. They had their 13-year-old um, poet who was going to say a poem. They had women here who were trying to write and who wanted to talk about what they were trying to write. But with the gas and with the attacks, uh, people were worried for their children's safety and they left. And uh, you see us in a situation where instead of being able to receive you with our poems and our yeah. attempts at literature, we are receiving you with tear gas and with the stones that our kids have thrown instead of being able to deliver poems. So this is from a book I did when I traveled through the deep south of America talking to people who've been involved talking to people who've been involved in the civil rights movement. Okay, Look at this. I said, is it okay if I speak Egyptian dialect? They said, well, that's what we've come for. Okay, this is from a book that I that I wrote when I was traveling. Oh, I did that. <laughs> and I met a man uh, called Franklin McCain, who when he was 17 went into a whites only restaurant and decided that he would sit down with three friends and demand to be served in a place that wouldn't serve him. Like Christ, the weapon we used for all this was love. I would look at a man with his spit streaming down my face. A man who would just spat at me and I would point my finger at him and say, you are my brother, I love you, and I forgive you. There was a story when the French invasion of Dimashq came to the Dimashq. The General Goro went to the Dimashq and said, we are the Dimashq, O Dimashq. This is also the Dimashq. I will stop today. وأقول أنا الكردي سأقف يوما وأقولها أنا الأمازيغي صوتك سأقف يوما أنا العربي الذي تعرفه سأقف يوما وأقولها ها قد انصرفوا يا صلاح الدين At the elevator, no electricity. Between us, there was electricity. Was it meant to be? Could she be the one? Her name is Janie, but she's got a gun. Do I speak Hebrew? A bit hard for me. Yes, Avoda means you got a job for me. Does she speak Arabic? She said a word or two. Waqf ya batukhak means freeze or I shoot. Oops, she felt suffocated. I felt that the elevator is bigger than my house. House. She felt sweaty, so she got ready and she changed her blouse. Blouse, ouch. I had to make a move soon. I said, it looks better on you. The green don't suit you. She was cool. She made a move too. She said, without the sniper lens, you look you too. And boom, then I will take you to heaven. 
she got paranoid. All she heard was boom and heaven. <laughs> I said 69, she heard 67. <laughs> Sweetheart, all I want to make is sweet love. But if you want to make tough love too, I think it's my turn to handcuff you. Uh, have you ever heard uh, Arabic in reggae, reggae Arabic? <laughs> Because I'm going to do a reggae in Arabic, but sounds I need really you. Bad, so that's sounds right. bad, so you're going to be punished. This was the last show for Palfest 2011. For everybody who's come here, we thank you for being here. And I'm sure that everybody would have liked to leave and not be here, um, you know, in this uh, uncomfortable situation. We thank our hosts at the Solidarity Camp in Siloan. Thank you very, very much for allowing us this room to be here with you tonight. On behalf of Palfest, thank you so much, everybody. And a last word from Fakhri Abujia. مضبوط إنه شكرا لمن أتاحوا لنا أن نبتسم من خلال الألم والدموع شكرا للجميع. Thank you. The real thanks is for those who have allowed us to smile through our tears. Thank you, everybody. And Dam, thank you, Dam. It's important to thank you, Dam. We're so glad you stuck with us. Thank you.